We are now in Nebenes. Uh, the weather is nice. I think it's around 10, 10, 15 degrees Celsius, right? Outside. Yeah. Nice weather, dry. And we're going to do a little uh, consumption test. So you know that uh, the Ionic is the most efficient EV out there. But how efficient is a Mol S70D facelift? Because it's also very efficient. So we're going to test it out. And with me, I have uh, two guys. Uh, they are the owners of the other cars. Um, Nils and N Nils? That's yes, right. that's correct. <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> uh, so let's see. So you're the owner of the Ionic. Yes. Uh, it's a 2017 model. Yeah. With what equipment? Uh, Technic. Technic? Yes. And no uh, roof or something? No. It's a clean, uh, it's only a Technic. Uh, Oh, yeah. All right. Mm. All right. And um, you have a 70D more or less facelift. Yeah. With oh, but 16 model. 16 model with panorama roof. And yeah, that's correct. And, and you, both of you guys have, uh, uh, was it summer tires or winter? Uh, summer winter, tires. Winter, uh, winter for, for me. me. Okay. With, without uh, pigs. Uh, okay. Uh, spikes. spikes. Spikes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the, they should be quite. Uh, if you, and the, the rims are like uh, original. Yes, it's. Yeah. So, all right. Um, and then, of course, to make things interesting, uh, I will be driving the <laughs> Optimus Prime. It's a Molex P90D Ludicrous. And I have studded winter tires on. So my consumption will be like the same. I mean, the, the same as those two combined or something. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to run some tests. Uh, we will uh, drive and then come back to Nemenes uh, so we don't get any elevation change and you know, compensate for wind. And we will have a mix of highway, the motorway speeds, 120, 180, and also we do some, uh, some city driving and stuff. Um, but you know, I think the first thing we will do is drive to weigh the car because I'm eager to know how heavy these cars are. So uh, let's go then. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, we are now at the weighing station. Uh, we're gonna weigh the cars. Uh, so let me show you here. Now, the two other cars are behind me. Uh, can I show it on the camera? Yeah, so so the other Tesla is right behind me and then the Ionic is in, in the back. But um, I'm gonna check now that <laughs> the weight, this is, this is always interesting. It's supposed to be 2000, I don't know, 2600 something. Okay, okay. Uh, and this will kind of count when we. Oh, 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 okay. How much is it? Oh! Wow! Oh, oh, oh. oh freaking. 2600. Oh, uh, yes. Alright, 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 okay. Then I'll go roll off. And then the mall S will. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, now the mall S, okay. Just roll off. I. I I'm guessing 2,000, yeah, 2,000 kilos on the Model S. What do you guys think? 2,100. Whoa! Why is it so heavy? Wow. What? Because I'm 180, 180 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. What about the Ionic then? Oh, this is a heavy beast. Oh, let, me, let me move forward a little bit. Okay, yeah, you can go side. Yeah. Ionic should be like 1,000, I don't know, 500 maybe? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh. oh, wow. Oh. Okay. I'm not so heavy. I'm not so heavy. But that means, okay, very heavy car, medium-ish, and then, yeah, lighter, like, relatively. Hmm. Should I go out of the car so you can see? Nah. <laughs> nah, okay, that's, that's fine. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's do the test. All right, we have finished all the tests, and now I'm going to comment some of the tests. So, first we weighed in the cars, and as expected, Molex is heaviest, about 2,600 kilos. And then the Mol S was actually 2,200 kilos, and the, the Ionic was 1,600 kilos. So that is with driver. And we are like, yeah, mostly around 70, 80, something, 90 kilos. So it's not, it's not that much difference. 
And in the first test, we did 120 kilometers per hour run, uh, back and forth. Uh, everything like normal settings, uh, and also range mode off. And uh, curl, okay, <laughs> Molex consumed the most, and then S was uh, yeah lower. And as expected, yes, Ionic. And well, actually, you know, the difference between Ionic and Molex wasn't that great. So um, okay. And then the next test we did like an eco run where well eco ish in the terms that uh, we switched on the range mode in the mo in the uh, Teslas and in Ionic we use uh, was in uh, eco mode but the result was more or less the same uh, so you see there are some slight variations here because we have traffic also on the road we test so. Actually, on a run like that, you know, if you just hammer down the highway, uh, eco won't do anything, really. But uh, on the other hand, I was kind of surprised that range mode didn't do anything in my car because it's supposed to help. So that's uh, that's a puzzle. All right, whatever. And then the next test, uh, we draw at 90 kilometers per hour. So you know, high speed will consume more energy, and as expected, we spend uh, less energy. And now you also see that uh, the S and Ionic has closer consumption. And then just for fun, uh, we try to drive at 70 kilometers per hour. It was on the motorway, but whatever, you know, this is to simulate like um, slower roads. You, you not only find it in Norway, but other places, Denmark, we, uh, yeah, other places, you know, where, where you have like a country road or something with lower speed limit and then, yeah. If you cruise at 70, which is not unusual at those roads, you get very low consumption. And we also, just for the fun, try to switch off air conditioning and put on uh, in, in the eco mode and uh, range mode. And again, yes, Ionic wins lowest consumption. And on the last test, we draw. Uh, we try to like mix uh, a little bit of uh, highway and city driving and. Again, Ionic was best, and, and actually that was kind of interesting that um, the difference between uh, Model S and Ionic was you know, bigger than on a straight road, and that has something to do with the increased weight, because uh, Model S is heavier, so when you accelerate, go up and downhill or whatever, of course, the heavier car will consume more. Uh, so the result were, was like, was uh, as expected, but you know, this raises some questions like, what would happen if we tried versus other cars? Uh, I will no, this. I mean, it may be more interesting. This I will test it versus uh, i3 and uh, Leaf because those cars also have the bigger battery pack. Uh, so yes, Ionic is better. But uh, what if we try to compare uh, more or less versus Leaf and i3? Because I know Ionic is very efficient. Actually, and these numbers, Ionic also gives you the, about the same numbers as both, but uh, uh, based on my numbers, um, both is slightly less efficient than Ionic. Mm, yeah. So, yes, that was interesting. Uh, there will be more tests about this, of course, uh, as always interesting. So, uh, yes, if you like my content, by the way, uh, please check out my uh, Patreon link. It's patreon.com slash Um Eventually, I will go full-time nimbering and uh, making videos, so uh, I kind of need support, and it's always nice to have some support when uh, to buy equipment or whatever. Yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys later.